Hey guys, I've had a lot of questions um, from people lately about oil cleansing because they've seen my post about how I wash my face with jojoba oil and I guess that sounds strange and is confusing. So I just wanted to um, show you today how I clean my face with oils and yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to wash my face for you, <laughs> which is so weird, but I'm going to do it anyway. So oil cleansing is exactly what it sounds like. It is just using oil to clean your face in the place of a facial cleanser. Um, facial cleansers can sometimes make your body have to work extra hard um, to produce oils because what's happening is they're stripping away your body's natural oils when you use them and then your body works overtime to replace those oils and actually what happens is sometimes you end up having oilier skin than you would if you were using oil to wash your face which I know seems weird but that's what happens that's what happens when it um strips your natural oils out of your face so I have been oil cleansing for two and a half years maybe three years um i can't really remember and i started off just using coconut oil um which wasn't awful but it is a little more comedogenic than um jojoba or rosehip and some of your other lighter oils so i don't use coconut oil anymore but if that's all you have and you want to try it you can but if you break out um you might want to switch to something else so anyway um uh, this is the oil that i use it's um, can you see that it's Levin Rose Jojoba Oil. Levin Rose is my favorite carrier oil brand. They are just great. They're a stand-up company. Everything is 100% organic and pure, and there's nothing extra in it, and their jojoba has no scent at all. Um, so I just, I just really like that. And then I'm also using their rose hip oil because it's winter and my skin is dry because it's windy outside, so I've been using that just for a little extra moisturizing. Um, support during these cold winter months. So what else am I forgetting to tell you? Oh, if you try this, it might not be for everybody. And if you don't love it, that's okay. But if you try it, give it two weeks before you decide you don't want to do it again. Um, because sometimes it just takes your body a little while to adjust to a new routine, just like it would if you used any new product. So give it two weeks before you judge. And okay, I think that's it. So here's what I do. When I do this um, in the morning and at night, and then if I'm going to shower here in the day, um, for some reason, instead of in the morning or at night, I'll do it before I hop in the shower. I'll just put it on my face and then hop in the shower and do my thing there. So turn the water on, let it get as hot um, as you can stand it. And while that's going, I just take... That's the hose left. A couple of drops of the jojoba, I don't know, can you see that? It's just a few drops. And then the same with the rose hip. Just put a few drops in there. And then while the water's being hot, just rub it on my face. All over my face, just exactly like I would any other cleanser. Evie, I need you to stand over there for a second, okay? Okay. Thank you. You got be quiet for me. So see, my face is super shiny right now because it's very oily so just rub it all over now um i don't have makeup i don't know what that is uh i don't have makeup on today but when i have makeup on sometimes i'll take some jojoba and put it on a little um facial cleansing like cloth thing and remove my eye makeup and stuff that way but when i don't feel like doing that i have a little visitor in here um when I don't feel like doing that, I'll just rub it on with my eye, with my fingers, and it makes me have raccoon eyes, and my whole face gets black all over it. But it works. Jojoba is a great makeup remover. So anyway, rub it all over your face. Now I'm distracted because Evie's in here. Rub it all over your face, and then when the water's hot, which it is. Turn it down. Just wet your washcloth and wring it out. And then I just pat my face all over. And just gently rub. I just press it to my face. Because the oil feels, I mean the hot water feels really good. So when I have eye makeup that I need to remove, baby, 
Please stop and just stand right here. When I have eye makeup that I need to remove. Okay, can you back up a little bit, please? Thank you. Stand right here. Um, I'll just put my finger in the washcloth and gently stick my finger in my eye. <laughs> remove it from underneath and from all around. Just be really gentle when you're um, dealing with the skin around your eyes because it's really sensitive and it gets damaged easily. So anyway, so then after I do that, I'll just get it hot one more time. Bring it out. And then just press it to my face one more time just to make sure there's nothing left on there. Then I'll take a dry towel and dab. Just dab, dab, dab. And get it dry. Um, I know you can't feel this because it's a video, but my face is not oily right now. I'm trying to see if you can, like right there, there's still a little oil, so it looks oily right there. But like my face doesn't look shiny like it did just a second ago uh, because it just feels clean. It doesn't feel oily. So what I do after I have washed it is I will get out either my two favorites. Okay, wait, how can I hold this so you can see it? This is backwards and it messes with my head. Okay, so this is Elimi, Elimi. I don't know how you say it. They need pronunciation guides with these some of these things. But I call it Elimi. And then this is a frankincense. Oh my gosh, this my brain cannot compute how to do this backwards. Okay, so this is frankincense and everybody knows it's a fave. So, um, they're closely related. Um, Elimi is like Frank's little sister. They're from the same um, kind of plant family, if that makes sense. So at night I use frankincense and then in the mornings or during the day I use alimi. So what I will do is just it, pretty much exactly what I did when I was getting ready to wash. I'll just put a, three or four drops of jojoba and three or four drops of rosehip and one drop or two of alimi. I just put it back all, all over my face. This is my doggy. Evie. Doggy. Baby, you're being rude right now because you're interrupting mommy. I need you to go mommy. play with your doll in Look. the other room. You're supposed to be taking a nap. I know, but my but I went. So you just rub that in. I'm gonna have to do this again, probably. Can I smell your? Can I smell you? Okay, and then I'll rub it down on my neck, rub it on my ears, just because it feels good and it smells good. Take some deep breaths because it's a grounding oil as well and it just smells good, so why not breathe it in. So rub it all in, just like you would a moisturizer. Really good. Not nearly as oily looking as I was when I was putting it on to wash my face because I'm rubbing it in. Rub it on my lips. They're really dry right now with this winter weather. So rub it in. Put your lids back on everything. And that is pretty much it. In a few minutes, I've been super dry on my chin for the past week or so. Like right in there. Just really, really dry. Um, once it absorbs just a little bit, because it only takes a few minutes for it to absorb. You don't have to wait a long time. You're not going to feel super oily and greasy all day. It's going to absorb into your skin. Um, just like a regular moisturizer would and it's going to be fine. But uh, if you're feeling dry in any areas like I am, I just take a little bit and I'm not going to do it right now because it hasn't gone in yet, but I'll take a little more rose hip and just rub it in those areas before um, I put on makeup or anything like that. So that is my oil cleansing routine that I do in the morning and at night. I would love to hear if you try this and what you think about it. So, thanks for watching. Go get you some jojoba oil from Amazon. It's Leaven Rose, L-E-V-E-N-R-O-S-E, -E, two different words, or LevenRose.com. Both places, um, Leaven Rose sells it, and you will love it. You're it's talking like to yourself. It's $14 for a big four-ounce thing that will last you for a long time. So, go get it. Run. Don't walk. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.